Hey guys, happy Tuesday, and we're gonna do something similar to we did last week, except with front squats. So it's gonna be every 90 seconds, starting with 10 reps, going down to nine, eight, seven, six, all the way down to one rep. So it's, um, if you did this last week, you have an idea of what this feels like. You won't necessarily add weight every single time, but you will be building to that heavy single, all right? So starting with 10, going down to one. For front squat, focus on getting a good rack position under the bar. Stand up, elbows nice and high, and fighting for that position the whole time. Find your squat stance, elbows and chest up, good deep squat. Keep the elbows up, try to avoid the chest or elbows dropping at any point throughout the movement. All right, so up to you how hard you wanna go with this. Uh, always focusing on a deep position in the bottom to reinforce our cleans, our thrusters, uh, wall balls, and then good speed as we stand up, because speed equals power. So that's our strength, let's talk conditioning. All right, so our conditioning is going to be an 800 meter buy-in and cash out. So that means at the beginning and end of the workout, you have to run 800 meters. In between that, you're gonna have five rounds of 10 single arm devil's press and 10 toes to bar, all right? So let's go over those movements. Single arm devil's press means one dumbbell instead of two, so that's nice. You're gonna do a burpee, just keep your hand on one of the dumbbells, other hand on the floor, jump back, chest and thighs to the floor, jump forward, you're gonna swing to overhead. Okay, come back to the floor, switch arms. Okay, on the devil's press we always talk about load the hips back and then as you explode up, keep the dumbbell close to you and press. The press is the, this part that you'll feel at the very end of the movement, okay? So again, moderately challenging weight uh, for 10 reps, five each arm, and you go to 10 toes to bar, all right? So toes to bar, toes all the way up. I always focus on keeping those knees nice and close to the body. If you can't get the toes all the way up, you can do eye level. Okay, you can also just do a knee raise. I would say if you do a knee raise, the bare minimum is getting your knees above parallel, but try to pull the knees as high as you can every rep to develop that strength that you'll eventually need for a toes to bar, okay? So this will add up probably pretty quickly. Trying to do maybe unbroken sets or two sets per round. Um, be safe on your hands. Shoulders, I always say if anything feel, doesn't feel good there, uh, you can set up so your feet uh, touch the ground at the bottom every time, maybe something like this, right? Put your feet down so that's nicer on the upper body. If you can at all, feel free to do some V-ups or tuck-ups, something like this, or something like this, okay? Uh, or even do GHG sit-ups, it'd be a total of 50 reps, uh, which is a reasonable amount for people to start with. So um, when you finish that, you have 800 meter run at the end, and then we do have a finisher today as well. So our finisher is some classic accessory work. The first one I love, the Jefferson Curl. If you have tight hamstrings, low back, it's a great strengthener and lengthener of the muscle. All right, so I'm standing on top of a box because my hands are gonna be able to go past my, my toes. So if I'm standing on the floor, I would run into the floor. So find a, a light weight. You can go up to a 45 pound bar heavier if, you're, if you've done this before, but start relatively light. Barbell, I'm using a dumbbell. But when you do this, really focus on keeping the knees locked, pushing the knees back. And then the Jefferson curl is curling your back. So tuck your chin and roll your vertebrae down. Really pushing the knees back. As you get tight, you're gonna wanna bend the knees because it hurts a little bit, right? So keep the knees locked and around and reach and reach and reach as far as you can go. And then roll back up, all right? So you're gonna do that for uh, 10 repetitions. All right, from there we're gonna go to a couch stretch with a band. So this is the normal couch stretch, except now you're gonna attach a band right under your butt, okay? And then get that knee as close to the wall as you can, and then sit up and hold this position. Squeeze your butt, try to get your chest vertical, keep your belly tight, and hang out here on each side, all right? The last one is gonna be a Cossack squat stretch, so that wide stance, and we're gonna stretch our inner thigh. You're gonna drop down and just try to get a stretch here, open up the hip, do your best, right, on each side. So those are our three finishing moves, guys. See you tomorrow.